Hello and welcome back to another King Skyline video tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at daisy tools and retexturing clothes. So your you should by now have your um, P drive mounted and your game data extracted. So once you've done that, if not, there are some videos out there that can help you with that. But once you've done that, Come over to your P drive and make a new folder, which is going to be your mod folder. For me, it's going to be DH Cloves Test. And inside this, create a new folder. And today I'm going to be making a rider's jacket, so I'm going to call this R Jacket. And within this R Jacket folder, you are going to want to put your um, config in here. Uh, the config will be in a paste bin in the description or it will be in the download link for this actual particular mod file. I do know I need this from here. So open up your config. It should look something a little like this. Should look just a little like this. And uh, let's remove these class definitions. Don't need these ones. We definitely don't need these ones. So, yeah, so it should look something like this. So, today, what we're going to be doing is renaming this to DH Close Test. Um, do the same for this class name here and the DIR. Your name, you can call this whatever you wish. So we'll call this TH Close Test. So now we're going to need the color base for our item. So you can find this by going into your P drive, scripts, full underscore world, entities, item base. So let's do that. P drive, scripts, for world entities item base so today we're going to be looking at riders jackets so we're going to go to the clothing and we're going to go down to r r r r r, r, r riders jacket color base we'll grab this color base from here and we'll rename this color base here and this color base here so these two now say riders jacket color base this is where we want to give a new class name, so it would be dh underscore r jacket. Let's make that J capital. Um, we'll go with King's Riders. And we'll go with uh, King, uh, no, um, Riders, King S, reskin by King's Skyline. Um, we'll call this Devil's House. Riders Devil House reskin. Okay. So this is gonna be what your folder is called. So my folder was called DH Cloves Test. You wanna make all three of these exactly the same. And here I called mine R jacket. So this one here is what your second folder is called. Uh, close test. So mine is R jacket. So I'll make these the same here. And this one here is what your PAA file is called, which will be your clothing file. So I will call mine DH R jacket. And that will be my PAA file. <clears throat> so that's the cpp file done the config file so this should be done for now so riders jacket let's go and have a look about finding the riders jacket paa 
So come over to DZ. Um, characters. Tops. Data. We're going to look for R. Raincoat. Riders. Jacket. Black. So open up text view. Drop the rider's jacket black in. And we can save that anywhere. So I'm just going to save this to my desktop. Let's save it in this test, test folder over here. Did I click my desktop? Yeah, I did. Uh, DH test folder, clothes. Let's call this R jacket dot png just so we can edit it okay so that is now here we have this now let's bring this over in the photoshop if it's going to let me right so there's our rider's jacket over in photoshop over here so I've got this layer here that I've just carefully cut out, not so carefully. Let's go and put that onto our rider's jacket over here. See if we can get this to fit pretty well. Okay, that seems about right. We'll duplicate this again. Just because I'm going to go and put this um I guess somewhere on the front uh, let's put it there by that pocket uh we'll run a bit of text on this side we'll just put dh for devil's house and we'll have that in bright lime Okay, so that's our rider's jacket. So I'll overwrite the old one. So, our rider's jacket should be finished. Yep. Let's go back in the text view, open up our new jacket, save this into our DH closed test, rider's jacket. We'll just change this end to PAA to match what we said in our config earlier. Okay. Right. So that's our rider's jacket PAA and our config to match. So now when we load the game or make this into a mod, this should be a customized jacket. If you wish to make two of them, you can copy and paste just like that from class to the second semicolon. And you can literally just change the class name to two and you will get two of the same jacket. Okay, so I'll just bring that in for a bit of proof. So we can also look at adding some attachments, some maybe special attachments that some jackets don't have. So somewhere in our config file, so we'll have a look. Um, say we've got belts. There's not many belts to look from. So civilian boat, we've got inventory slot, hips, inventory info. Okay. Uh, attachments, belt back, belt right, belt left. Right. Military belt, belt back, belt right, belt left. If we copy this attachments, and paste this under, I don't know, item cargo size, just here. Now our second rider's jacket will have the belt attachment for back, left and right. There may not be a proxy for it, so you may not see the item actually in game, but it will be as an attachment, so it wasn't actually taken up in any inventory slots. We can also use this sort of configs so if we take away item size here 
we can put that into here. So now we have item cargo size and item size. So currently this will take up three slots by one slot. Let's change this to one by one slot. And the cargo slot, this is what? Um, 200 slots, I believe this to be. 10 slots by 20 slots down. So let's change this to match a bit differently. Okay. <coughs> so we should be able to go and pack our mod now. Now we have our PAAs and our cargo sizes and everything else changed. So let's go and build our mod. Test folder. No. Close test. And let's load this into DayZ. Mods. Uh, test pack. No base building plus. So as you can see in my test pack, uh, I do actually have some of my other mods, but this is the one we've just made just now. So let's see Daisy load. So the best thing about this is you can do it to absolutely anything. There are some items in game that can't be retextured, and you actually need to make your own. But most of them, you can. So let's look at dh underscore r jacket. It didn't show up with anything. Strangely odd. Let's go and have a look again. Our jacket dot PAA. Yeah. Ah. I see. So this is a very common mistake. So this has DH underscore R jacket. I just called it R jacket. This is why our item doesn't show in game. So we just rename that. Let's close the game. Rename that to Devil House underscore R jacket and we will repack it. See, I don't cut out any nastiness. You get pure uncut footage. So let's reload back into day Z. Let's try again. But as you can see, normally, if your item appears in game, but it appears white, normally your texture isn't loading or being copied properly or packed properly. So take a look at your add-on builder or take a look at where your texture is located. Uh, if your texture comes out with a green yellow tint, your item, uh, your texture size isn't the right size. So your picture, your PAA needs to be 1024 by 1024 or two for two we follow the rule of two uh, so 5112 by 5112 that works perfectly fine some zombies over there that are a bit accurate okay so we'll go for our jacket was it okay yeah our jacket one and our jacket two So as you can see with this jacket, it is a jacket with 100 slots. You see it's got a nice DH logo there. Suns and uh, whatever that is. I mean I didn't really understand it or didn't really read it properly but there you go. So, let's have a compare shall we? This one has a knife holster. This one has a pistol holster, and it also has a canteen, and it also has 200 slots. Compared to this one, 
that has just a basic standard. But if we get a holster. Plate carrier holster, I guess. Uh, safe. I don't know. Um, canteen. So we've got a canteen there. You can't see it. But we have the canteen and a holster and an air holster. And 200 slots. Well, that is all Joe do to our config. So that is how to edit your own retextures and to add attachments. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below or join the Discord and I'll try and help you as best as I can. Thanks for watching and have a good day.